Hi, my name is Manela Yukovic. I grew up in a Muslim household. Although we did not go to a mosque on a regular basis, my mom always spoke about God as Allah. I recall being questioned about my faith, but being Muslim was the reason my family had to escape the Bosnian War, so I continued to stand by it. I attended church with a friend for the first time when I was 13 years old and started feeling emotionally drawn to exploring Christianity and Jesus. Later in life, I took two classes on Christianity, only to find myself feeling more lost and confused about my spiritual identity. I moved to Arizona on my own after college. Shortly after, I met Charles Twitty, who is now my fiance. He grew up attending the Scottsdale Bible and is a follower of Jesus Christ. He never forced his beliefs on me, and about a year ago, I suggested we started attending SBC regularly. Within a few months of coming, I received Jesus as my savior. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Since believing, Jesus has helped me guide through stressful career changes and has provided Charles and I with strength to get out of debt through the Dave Ramsey class. My life with Jesus as my Lord is much clearer. I understand my purpose and I want to serve him. I feel optimistic about my relationships and my future. Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Brian McAnally, and I have the joy of serving as one of your pastors here at Scottsdale Bible Church. And it really is a joy to be here tonight uh, baptizing and I'm in to be here with you. I tell you, one of the things I love about your story, it's so compelling to me, is that idea that you were compelled by Christ. And your story really does indicate that this is not about religion, it's about relationship. That Jesus Christ has drawn you, he has compelled you to be a follower. And now here you are with your fiance Charles as a witness saying that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. And Manila, it is because of the finished work of Jesus Christ, what he accomplished for you on the cross, that it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Jenny Black. I have been married 39 years to my ASU sweetheart, and we have three grown daughters and three grandchildren. I have worked at the same company for 21 years and find great joy in singing praise to the Lord in the SBC choir. I was raised in church and always loved God and the teachings of the Bible, but I longed for a relationship with Him that I never found until I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. I was living on Maui with my husband and we had three young girls when I was led to attend a tent revival in Kapalua. There I confessed my sins and turned my life over to Jesus. I was never able to stand up for what I believed until then because I had never really studied the Bible myself. It was my middle daughter's faith and trust in the gospel which led me to SBC and the Holy Spirit providing a deep hunger for relationship with Jesus which opened this new chapter into baptism. I am blessed to be part of an amazing women's Bible study group which has greatly fed my ever increasing desire for a deeper relationship with Jesus. I want to be baptized now as a symbol of my faith and obedience to the Lord. John 3, 5 says, Truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. You must be born again. My name is Kai Bauer. I am a 10 year old fourth grade student. I live with my grandparents and my aunt. I have been attending SBC since I was three. I have loved it the whole time. When I was four, I prayed and trusted Jesus as my Lord and Savior on my way to preschool. Before that, I didn't feel close to God. Jesus has blessed me with a new family. I want to be baptized so I can feel even closer to God and I want people to know I belong to Jesus. Boy, what a great night it is to see grandmother being baptized with grandson. And Jenny, it is really a joy to be here and be baptizing you because it 
really is a testament to with your daughter as well to be a legacy of faith, a household of faith. And so we do rejoice in that. Absolutely. And my name is uh, Ryan Heath. And I'm the pastor of Children's Ministry at Scottsdale. And this young man, Kai, has been in my ministry for a number of years and have gotten to know each other uh, all these years. And it's been so exciting, Kai, to see you grow up as this man of God. And it's my privilege being here today. Well, Jenny, but it is because of what Jesus Christ has accomplished for both of you on the cross that it is our joy to baptize you. And I baptize you, Kai, as well, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Maxime Rochin, and I am six years old. I go to International School of Arizona, and I speak French, Spanish, and English. I pray every morning and night with my mom and before each meal to give thanks for my food. Every morning when my mom drives us to school, my oldest sister Tiana leads us to talk about Jesus, and then we each turn tur take turns and pray for God to bless and guide our days. I want to be baptized today because I love Jesus so much and he is the only one who can save me so my spirit never dies. My name is Valentina Rochin and I am four years old. My sister's name is Tiana and my brother's name is Maxine. I have been raised in a home to love Jesus and I have been at Scottsdale Bible Church my whole life. I pray every day, both morning and night. In the morning, we ask God to bless our day. And at night, we thank him for all of his blessings. I love Jesus so much because he lives inside of me as my Lord and Savior. And when I die, I will go to heaven with Jesus and my family. And today, I want to be baptized with my brother, Maxine. a little, sometimes big crowds. That's okay. Okay, do you want to watch Maxime? All right, well, Valentine, watch Maxime real quick. We may have to call an audible. So. Do you want to watch your brother first? Want to watch your brother? All right, well, do you want me to baptize your brother first, Ms. Feltina? All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and actually baptize Maxine. Do, would you like to be in the water, Valentina? All right. When you practice this before, there's not quite as many people in the room. So sweet little Valentina. Now, Maxine, you seem to be doing all right. Great. All right, well, do you want me to go ahead? Just, okay, we're going to baptize. All right, so Maxine, I'm going to have you stand right here, buddy. So Maxine... It was so fun talking with you and your family as we discussed who Jesus is and what he did and just your understanding exactly of who Jesus Christ was and how he had died for your sins. And it was just such a beautiful thing. So based on your testimony, but most importantly, based on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. bring her to the side and then we'll um, maybe come back to this or I could sprinkle her from here it won't count but <laughs> but just want to feel the water yeah I would yeah, just want to wait. my name is Katie Kozlowski I'm eight years old and my mother and father are Jody and Paul I have a sister Ashley and a brother Jordan 
My Aunt Sue and Uncle Bill will also help guide me throughout my spiritual journey. I have two dogs, Chloe and Piper. I sing in the Scottsdale Bible Children's Choir, and I am a member of Girl Scouts. I am in third grade at Liberty Elementary School and attend Awana too. In the past year, between Awana and Sunday School, I have learned so much about Jesus and want him to be a part of my life forever. I want to be baptized today because Jesus has forgiven my sins. Being baptized today is an important part of my journey where I walk hand in hand with the Lord. Thank you for all being here today to share in the beginning of my journey. I want to be baptized to show others that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Well, Katie, it has been so fun to see you every Wednesday uh, at Awana and every other time we see you. And you always have your big smile and you come up ready just to greet and to love all your friends that come as well. And so it is fun to see the love of Jesus just being expressed through you. Well, Katie, based on your testimony and on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hi, my name is Luke St. John. I am 11 years old and I go to Scottsdale Christian Academy where I also play baseball. I have believed that Jesus is my savior since I was four years old. Before that, I don't remember too much. I first trusted Jesus as my savior when I prayed with my babysitter, Riley. I did it again in a prayer with my dad. I feel really good when and safe that, knowing that Jesus died for my sins and that will, I will never be apart from God. My life is different now because I will love and forgive others the way Jesus loves and forgives me. I am being baptized today because I want to show everyone that I love Jesus. I am following his example from the Bible. Well, Luke, uh, you're joined here today by your dad, Andy, which is super awesome that your father's here with you. And it was super cool when we were talking about, you know, what life was like before Jesus. And there's really no recollection because you've just grown up in a Christian home and, you know, and you prayed to receive Jesus with your babysitter and then reconfirm with your father. Just such a sweet story. Well, Luke, based on your testimony and based on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Trevor Ketterer. I'm 13 and attend Mojave Middle School. I have lived in Scottsdale my entire life with my mom and dad. I have grown up in a Christian home and have always attended Scottsdale Bible Church. I attended Awana, the children's program where you memorize Bible verses, since I was three, until I finished the program last year by completing nine Awana books to earn my Timothy Award. Now I volunteer with the four-year-olds and also help my parents teach Sunday school Bible classes. The first time I publicly declared that Jesus was my savior was at Vacation Bible School when I was in second grade. Now that I am older, I have decided that I want to publicly demonstrate my faith in Jesus. As a sinner, without Jesus, I am separated from God. But with his death on the cross and receiving him as my savior, I am saved and will one day be in heaven with God. One of my favorite Bible verses is Jeremy 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I love knowing that Jesus has great plans for me, that I just need to reach out and ask him for help and guidance in living my life according to his plans. I want to be baptized today so that everyone will know that I love Jesus and want to spend my life following him. Well, Trevor, it's been so great getting to know you, knowing your mom serving in Awana as well, and you involved. Um, I remember the top of your head and what that looked like, and just so many things about you as you've, as you've grown, not only as a young man, but also, most importantly, to just see that tenderness that you have towards Jesus Christ. So based on your testimony and on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It's Grace Denver. I am seven years old and live with my papa and Grammy. Grammy homeschools me and I am in first grade. I have been coming to Scottsdale Bible since I was four years old. 
I am in I am in second I am in the second year of Sparky's in Awana. I had a lot of trouble in my life when I was little and that made me mean. I had hurt in my heart and I and I wanted Jesus to take it away. Jesus was the only one who could help me. Papa and Grammy teach me about Jesus and pray with me. I received Jesus as my savior at VBS last year on June 15th. Pastor Ryan was teaching about prayer, and I decided to ask Jesus to save me right then. I wanted to get baptized right away, but Papa didn't think I was ready, so I baptized myself in our pool. <laughs> Papa said it might be best if Pastor Ryan baptized me. I know Jesus has helped me a lot through hard times and smooth times. When I was in the prayer garden, Jesus told me he has, he has always been with me and, and not to be afraid. He took away my fear. My thoughts and my actions are, kind, are more kind too. I am thankful that Jesus took my sin. I want to be baptized today because he is my Lord and Savior. I want everyone to know what he has done for me. Cadence, it has been so sweet seeing you here every week. Um, you've been in my daughter's class as well, so it's been fun just seeing uh, you from that angle as well. But Cadence, you've had just this sweet tenderness towards Jesus, and it has been so precious to watch you just love and worship Jesus when we're doing our large group, and you just truly have a heart for him. And based on your testimony, and most importantly, based on the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Brittany Schultz, and I am 20 years old. My mom blessed me with the ability to grow up in a religious, Jesus-loving home and attend private school all of my life. My involvement with retreats and volunteering has always been a part of who I am. However, I felt like something was missing, but I couldn't pinpoint what exactly it was until my boyfriend, AJ, asked me to check out Scottsdale Bible. Last September, I moved here from New Jersey to be closer to my Aunt Colleen, Uncle Bob, my cousins, and AJ. I was initially skeptical to try SBC because I had grown up in a different church and I didn't know what to expect. But my flight landed around noon that September Saturday and I came to the five o'clock service. I had met Pastor Neil back in July when my mom and I came out to get our house ready. Here we were now in September and he had remembered my name and even asked me how my move was going. This church is so big, but seeing that he could remember me made me want to come back. So I did, and I felt so welcomed. After only a few services, I had found what was missing. It was more than belief. It was in trusting Jesus who saves me and leads me. God has given me spiritual guidance through Pastor Brian and Pastor Daryl, which has shown me how to unlock the door of Christianity with the key of faith. I want to be baptized today as a symbol of God's grace and to show Jesus my loyalty to him and his church. I'll tell you what, it's been a joy knowing Brittany. She has come here and she has just chased after Jesus because he has been leading her faithfully. And I'll tell you what, she's a great example to all of you. Uh, not to be too heavy-handed with this, but she, she came to Starting Point. She got plugged in with Launch. She got plugged in as a volunteer. And I want you to know it's not because of the church programs. It's about, because about Jesus. And, and she's got a great support network, but I'll tell you what, she loves the Lord and it's just contagious. Uh, so I encourage you to hang out with her because you're going to catch it. But Brittany, it is because of what Jesus Christ has accomplished for you on the cross. It's my joy and my honor to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hello, my name is Chris Fugate. I am a medical device industry professional and have lived all over the country. I now call Arizona my home. I was born and raised on Cape Cod. I had a great childhood in the 70s, beaches, dirt bikes, total freedom and fun. My parents were not religious, so growing up, I was never exposed to church, religion, or Jesus. Looking back, I, I can now see how God was guiding me through life leading me to help someone in need, having me stop at a green light when another car runs the red light 
and is in a fatal collision. Not understanding the presence of the Lord, I just thought I was lucky. The God who protected me at the same time allowed my life to fall apart. I got divorced and lost everything. I was unexpectedly laid off. I began to ask, where was God in all of this? Then I met Monica. She's a fireball in Christ. From the moment I met her, I knew she had something different that I didn't have what she had. She introduced me to Scottsdale Bible and invited me to my first time ever in church. Back then, Pastor Jamie was new and was still getting to know the church and the church was getting to know him. I wasn't sure I could commit to the Lord, but I kept coming. And with Jamie's testimony, Monica's influence and confidence in the Lord, I met Jesus at Scottsdale Bible Church. He had used all this to lead me to him. I'm being baptized today because my faith is in Jesus. I'm reborn in him, and I commit to the Lord Jesus my faith, my heart, and my soul. Boy, Chris, your story is so powerful because it's the, the two things that stand out to me are, are freedom and commitment. That having grown up with a sense of freedom, now you really understand what freedom is in the person of Jesus Christ. And uh, over the process of time, in the context of relationship with Monica and then Scottsdale Bible Church, you've, you've come to understand that you can commit to Jesus to experience true freedom because he is faithful. And Chris, it is a, an honor to baptize you, my friend, my brother, in the name of Jesus Christ because of what he's accomplished for you in the cross. So it is in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I baptize you, Chris. Thank you.